Although more popular among fans of 16-bit systems not called Sega Genesis, the Valis series is one not to be missed, especially if you're a fan of blue-haired hotties with the capability to save the world. Step into the pointy boots and shoulder pads of Yuko Aso, starry-eyed schoolgirl by day, but secretly the wielder of the powerful Valis sword and a mighty heroine against the forces of evil. The obscure platformer series is not well known in the United States due to the fact that launch titles were for Japanese release only, and not only that, they were for systems like the MSX and the Sharp X68000. Not exactly systems that have generated a great deal of old school gaming fanhood. But soon enough, the series gained enough clout that it was able to make its way to the TurboGrafx-16 and the Sega Genesis. And it is because of this that I give many thanks to developers Telenet Japan and Publishers Renovation for the release of Sid of Valis, the second in a procession of games that follows the story of female warriors against an interdimensional threat. Well, if cuteness could manifest itself into a bomb, Sid of Valis would be a weapon of mass destruction. When you think of the adjective super deformed, you might picture acid attack victims, perhaps the three-eyed fish from The Simpsons, but in this case, the super deformed Yuko, not to be confused with the title, which should in essence be Yuko of Valis, is a two-inch tall bundle of cute, sword-swinging joy. If you think she's a cheek fool, check out some of the enemies in this game, which probably rival enemies of any Kirby game. I don't know whether I want to smack them with a shot from my sword or spend 50 bucks on them so I can take them home to my plushie collection. But don't let the big eyes and round features fool you. Sid of Valis' difficulty is not to be taken lightly, and what the game lacks in length, it makes up for with tenacious enemies, unpredictable boss movements and attacks, floaty jumping, and slippery movement. So, what is a platformer fan with a mediocre skill set to do? Well, everyone knows the answer to everlasting invincibility lies in a string bikini. If this isn't a candidate for one of my favorite cheats of all time, I'd like to see what's better out there. A code entered at the title screen will ensure you that your eccentric taste in female video game protagonists will be sufficiently placated as Yuko dons her dental floss and battles huge space creatures, all the way up to the arch-heel Megas himself. The sound and music are undeniably Sega Genesis, and even though the general consensus is that the TurboGrafx-16 version has more polish, you can't deny that it is a good thing that this game, and moreover this series, has made its way onto Genesis. Sid of Valis is a welcoming semi-spin-off in terms of visual style. Face it, one look at Yuko's victory dance, and no matter how much you need to go to the bathroom or turn off the stove, your hands will stay on the control pad and never let go. Music 